we've fished in Poland many times now over the course of about a 15 year period and the very first lake we fished was a place called Goslowica which is probably the best known lake in Poland these days and certainly one of the best stock wise. We've kept in touch with the owners and many of the people who fish there and so it was nice to get the chance to actually go back and fish there once again. It's a lovely evening in Poland and it's sort of, it's gone from winter to summer in the space of a few days. Literally last week it was down below freezing and absolutely horrendous conditions. Even though the carp seem to like it, it's actually fished pretty well. But this week summer's arrived and it's up into the mid 20s and yeah, it's absolutely lovely. Really nice. We got the Harwich to Hook of Holland ferry, the overnight ferry, which sort of makes the journey a little bit shorter than like the tunnel route. Um, so, you know, it's a pretty straightforward trip straight across country through Germany, few uh, traffic jams and roadworks, but we're here and uh, yeah, it's lovely. And this is the first place we ever came to in Poland. We came here in 2013, it was, and that was to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Carp Max magazine and yeah this is where we came to this is our fourth trip now full time here and yeah it's absolutely lovely now there's cabins on most of the swims we're actually in swim seven this time and we've got a lovely cabin um so yeah it's very comfortable and it's it's um come on leaps and bounds actually there's loads of mosquitoes about so I'm swatting mosquitoes all over the place the fish have really come on in the last few years. They raised the water level a bit a few years ago and it really made a difference. The only sort of downside is that most of them have actually been caught in the last few weeks. I think there's one of the big ones still due to be caught. There's, there's been a number of 70s and 60s and, and loads of 50s been coming out. So, you know, the fish are doing really well here. Uh, and I love the Polish carp, they're really stunning fish. So we're here anyway, we've got a week, it's going to be a, a warm sunny week, what that's going to do for the fishing, well who knows, we just have to wait and see, but um, it's going to be pleasant for us anyway, so yeah, a few days in the sunshine and um, hopefully a Polish carp or so. Yeah, it's always good to get the first one, and yeah, it's a nice one, nice linear. That wouldn't look out of place in any English water, would it? Bit of a surprise actually, because I hadn't seen any fish in the area. They did well last week in here, but the, the wind's completely turned around and blowing down the other end. And I feared the worst. I could see some showing right out in the middle there, and uh, we ended up having a snooze. And uh, yeah, in amongst all of that, one sneaked in. It was on the furthest left rod down that way, but whatever, we've got one. Yeah, lovely mirror. Nice way to start. So there we go. We've got going. Okie doke. It's been a quiet night again. A couple of liners, but yeah, the nights obviously aren't very good. Just out of the blue, just sitting there, everything looked quiet, very still, very warm. And uh, yeah, it's rattled off with a nice plump 36 pounder. God, it was ever so strong as well. 
didn't get the fight. I'll have to sort the GoPro out, but God, well, it was so strong. Yeah, nice plump one, isn't it? Lovely fish. Well pleased with that. Another one. I mean, I'm not putting out much bait. Just bite at a time tactics, really. You know, I've seen some of the guys out there this morning absolutely ramping the bait out. And I just don't think it's the time for it. You know, they're not catching. That's the thing. They're not catching. And I'm not on the fish here. You know, I'm sort of off of them, just maybe one rod's just on the edge, but yeah, just nicking a bite here and there, that's what it feels like. But yeah, just bite at a time tactics. A little bit of pellet, a little bit of hemp, and a pop up over the top. But there we go, it's working anyway. At least we're getting something. It is absolutely scorching today, 27 degrees, and it's amazing, really, that the fact that it was cold last week, it was really cold, apparently, and dropping down to zero at night, and next week, it's going to be dropping down again, but, you know, this week, um, it's El Scorchio, and high pressure, red hot, hardly a cloud in the sky, a little bit of breeze, but easterly blowing down the other end. Um, Fishing-wise... I'm sort of doing stuff which is a little bit alien to me this week really using a rod pod which I haven't used for ages but because it's on a platform the, you know the options are pretty limited really it's uh, stage stands or a rod pod so yeah I dug this one out of uh, retirement out of the shed um, and the other thing I'm doing is is using back leads which I very rarely use back leads. I don't like them to be honest, but there, you know, there's times where, you know, they're just the better option. And if I can keep the lines out of the way as much as possible, you know, there's every chance that a few fish are going to sneak into my little corner. And you know, looking at this area that I've got here, you know, it's I can see fish jumping every day. If I sit here for 10-15 minutes I can watch fish jumping out in the middle there so those swimmers are a bang on them they really are and I'm sort of on the outskirts so you know I want to try and attract everything into here that I can and one way of doing that is if they think there's no lines here so you know although it's only shallow where I'm fishing it's you know it's about three and a half foot to four foot um, by pinning that line down all the way across you know it lets those fish at least swim into the area without bumping into lines all the time. Yeah, well, I mean, there's plenty of time yet. You know, who knows? Some of my trips in recent times, um, the best has been so till last. So, you know, I'm not going to uh, tempt fate or anything like that. But, uh, you know, there's a long time to go yet. Horses for courses. You know, it's no good saying this is how I fish and to hell with it sort of thing. You know, you've got to adapt to the situation so that's what I've done really here adapting to the situation and hoping that you know it's it's going to help out in the long run Oh, nice evening bite. Just literally sat down with a cup of tea and uh, off it's gone. I only put this one out earlier, actually put a snowman on this one just for a change. The other two have got pop-ups on, but this one put a snowman and uh, ooh. Yeah, put it further left than the others as well. God, it's lovely on the calm surface, just watching it kite across.
it's hard to tell how big they are. I had one this morning that was 36 pound, which is, well, it's not a tiddler, but it felt so strong and powerful. This is moving too quick for a, a big one. There has been big ones out there though. Saw one from the boat yesterday. That was a real good fish out there. Big 50, maybe 60 pound. Oh, sun just going down over the back of us. It's beautiful. Just below the surface out there it is. That one. Four pound. God, this mozzie's buzzing around everywhere here, but, but yeah, there we go. Lovely Polish carp and a lovely warm spring evening. 34 pound. And uh, yeah, it's the action's only coming from one area, but at least I've managed to get three rods. It's quite a large-ish area. I've got three rods on it. Not very many scales. You know, quite a few of these fish in here are quite scaly. Uh, two fish today have been like peas in a pod. Not very scaly, but lovely looking carp anyway, aren't they? Well, well pleased with him. Anyway, so right. Time's getting on, so getting back, get the rod back out. And uh, soon be time to Betty buys. There we go. Yeah, that's been doing the biz, solid bags. Uh, people think you've got to have short look lengths and a lead in the bag, which of course you haven't. Got my normal multi-rig with the uh, lead up there and uh, it's just around the hook length, uh, bottom part of the hook length with the snowman in there, monster shrimp snowman, size five uh, chod claw. And yeah, you know, it's, I started off using pop-ups and I've sort of changed over to snowmans and that solid bag just gives a nice present presentation, nice little grouping around the hook bait. And yeah, spread a little bit around that as well from the boat. But um, yeah, they seem to like that. I've got the three rods down here, one to the left of the marker, one just to the right, and one towards that boy, which is the boundary marker to me swim. And that is where all of the action I've had so far has come from between these three rods. And nothing, I've got a lot of water in this swim actually, but the trouble is it's like a wide piece of water. You can't go out very far and sort of behind that area there, which beyond my boundary line is, I'm, the guys in those swims down that bank are all coming right out with it loads of lines all coming right out to the boys out there so <laughs> amazing 
I don't know whether the camera caught that up, but one just launched itself out there. The, uh, that's where the bulk of the fish are. Well, I've said it a few times now, probably. That's where they are, out in that middle bit. And uh, it seems like any time of the day, if you sit here for a, 10 minutes or something, you're going to see fish jumping out there. Needless to say, the, the guys in these couple of swims along here, they're right on them. Out in that. They can go right out to those boys, a long way out to the middle there. And yeah, they're right, right on them they are. I'm dropping a solid bag onto the spot and then putting a little bit of bait around it, a few freebies around it. And so yeah, different presentation, but quite a nice one, I think. Got that nice grouping right next to the, the hook bait. I'm just going to drop it onto the bottom there, come what may, whatever's down there. Donk. Got nice and hard actually that. <laughs> And then just a little bit around it, not much. No one's getting loads of fish. Even the ones in that really good area, they're not catching loads. Two, three, four a day. And I have seen people absolutely lamp a load of bait out there. Um, one of those guys along there put an absolute shed load of bait out. Um, but he hasn't caught anything on it that I know of. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to join the club. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Bite at a time job. We were really enjoying our time at the lake. The weather was lovely, the sun was nice and warm. And yeah, while the action might not have been really hectic, we were catching, so that was enough to keep me happy. But during the quiet times, it was nice to put the drone up every now and then, see what was going on. To be fair, there wasn't a lot to be seen in front of me, but they were obviously sneaking in here and there. Out in the middle areas of the lake, that's where the bulk of the fish were. And yeah, they were plain to be seen. As soon as I was above them with the drone, there was oh, just shoals of them. They were grouping up, you know, with the warm weather. I did wonder if spawning was on their mind. They wasn't really chasing around, but they were certainly grouped up and moving around together. You know, this time of year, that's always imminent. So I just hoped that the fishing would carry on as normal and spawning would stay away until at least we'd finished our session. in the sleep there. It was heavy but you have to watch the don't go in the reeds up there.
think it's just turned away from the reeds. I think it's alright if I keep it moving. So strong. Yeah, what a lovely surprise that was. Ah, I really thought bite time was over. Lost one earlier on a rod that hadn't produced anything all week, which was a shame. But yeah, you know, nothing apart from that. No bleeps all night, and sun gets up in the sky, and you think, well, that's it end of uh, sort of bite time yeah, just out of the blue just went off but yeah what a cracker 44 pound nice big round moony shape one lovely polish mirror oh beautiful yeah very happy so well we still had action every single day and uh yeah the stamp of fish is actually getting bigger so let's hope that continues <laughs> but yeah well happy with that one well pleased Another absolute cracker, isn't it? Two forties in half hour, two pounds, absolute solid chunk, chunk of muscle. It did its best to pull the arms off, really, really strong. But yeah, lovely, isn't it? It's uh, picking up now, the wind, getting really strong, but it's a, it's a warm wind blowing sort of more into us today. But yeah, it's brought a few fish our way, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Let's hope there's a few more like this out there. I'm sure there is. Go. Right, let's get back. Seems to be a few little snags, but a little solid bag on the spot, and a few scoops of pellet hemp. Yeah, that's the nice thing. You see that? It's when the bag bursts. It's a nice little marker for exactly where it is for baiting up around. So, yeah, a few little scoops of pellet hemp and monster shrimps. There we go. Not loads. But they're big lumps, so uh, they can eat that. It's a nice little mouthful for a, a big fish, a big Polish mirror. Oh, we'll leave it with a thought. It's same rod again, and uh, I thought it was a little fish. It was whizzing about all over the swim, thrashing about on the top, <laughs> whizzing from side to side. And uh, it's actually a really nice chunk.
Well, I said it was another 40, it's not. 39. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's deceiving it. It feels 39, but it just looked a lot bigger. Yeah. It's a nice one though, not complaining. Well, I know it's a little bit like Groundhog Day. <laughs> Same place with another good fish, but um, yeah, you're a bit limited with the uh, photographic opportunities really on the platform here but yeah the fish are fantastic they're lovely fish they really are and third one uh, in the space of a few hours on the on the same rod and a little bit of a two-tone lovely fish when it was coming in I would have bet my life it was another 40 but it wasn't it was just short 39 but um beautiful carp absolutely beautiful and yeah, I didn't bother filming because I didn't think it was that big. You know, it was whizzing about all over the place, literally from one side of the swim to the other, splashing, sort of swirling on top. And I thought, oh, it's a little, a strong little one. And then when I saw it, I thought, oh, hold on, it's, it's quite a decent one. Uh, but there we go, yeah, it's 39 pounds. So yeah, a lovely one, lovely afternoon carp. I mean, they're, they're lovely, sociable fish, I'll give them that. Let you get a good night's sleep and then they feed during the day, just how every carp should be. There we go. Right. Let him get back to his mates out there. Thank you very much, Mr. Carp. It's only early, it's going to be another warm one for sure. But um, yeah, that early morning time is obviously the best time. And uh, got an absolute cracker. Missed the battle, which is a shame. But um, not quite 50, 49 4. But um, yeah, I'll settle for that though. Lovely, isn't it? No doubt, be some better ones out there. And yeah, all the time we're getting action. We're not getting loads of action, but all the time it's coming, there's always going to be a chance for a better one. But yeah, that's a cracker anyway, isn't it? Lovely Polish car. Beautiful. Well, that is it, all done. Uh, one more little carp this morning, about four o'clock. So I'll just put him straight back. Uh, but that's the end of a, a lovely week. They've actually started spawning this morning, so not no time to be leaving. But we've had a great time here, we really have. Been lovely in here. Facilities here are fantastic. And waking up to that view out there with the rods that were there but um that's it time to go thomas is just picking up the the rubbish now and uh yeah time to head for home see you next time <laughs>